The plan is to travel through five countries starting in the UK from Hull by train to London. We then fly across Europe via Sweden to Moscow where we will ride the Trans-Siberian across Russia visiting Yekaterinburg and Irkutsk all the way to Mongolia. From there we want to take a road trip across the Mongolian plains down to the Gobi Desert and then back north before travelling on to China. Next we will get a four day train ride to Lhasa in Tibet before travelling back across China via Xi'an towards Shanghai. It should take around three months and we've decided to make this video of the trip to have a bit of a giggle and a laugh on the way. We'll meet some great people and interesting sights and hopefully gain an abundance of life experience from this once in a lifetime journey. This is our story. Welcome to the wrong way round. Okay, so we've arrived at the train station and fuck me, it's so much better than Russia. The attendants are like soldiers and it's just crazy. The, the trains have got LCD TVs, you've got a jug of water, a kettle, looking everything. It's amazing. Real nice duvets all set out, flowers. Man, it don't get any better than this, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to three days on this train. Just under 24 hours now, and with the insane boredom, Joe's got cabin fever. This is having a party. I'm upside down. Yeah, and um, the train's off. Getting a bit wild, but we're a bit getting a bit bored. So we just we're getting party. bored, so we just started to drink beer. Oh beer. Just some beers. Uh, it's Japan. We're looking at each other's photos. Looking at each other's yeah. photos. Uh -huh. Good night. Uh -huh. This is Lachlan. This is Lachlan, our Australian buddy. Hey again. Uh -huh. I'm the Australian buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a posh laptop that's made me want to buy one. Stay on the train today. Uh, the train pulls into Lhasa tonight about 9 o'clock. It's currently just gone 1 o'clock, so still quite a bit of a way to go. But the scenery's definitely changed. We've got like huge mountains and things, mountain ranges outside. It's turned from basically grassy, like wastelands, to sort of tundra and um, mountain, mountainous regions. But um, we're getting quite high now because the altitude sickness is kicking in. Not for me, but for some other people we're sharing our cabin with. So we've got like the oxygen turned on. We're in our pressurised cabin. And um, yeah, we're all a bit in a border bin on the train now and want to roll on getting to Lhasa, really. After a, a really long train ride, we've finally made it to Tibet and to Lhasa. We checked into our uh, Nice hotel and met our driver, at least we think he's our driver. There's a guy in a car has picked us up. Don't look like he knows much English, so should be interesting. But yeah, we're finally here, which is a good feeling, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited to start the rest of the trip. So yeah.
on this? Uh, yeah, basically what's happening is um, this is like a holy temple and they're praying outside of the temple and it's just that way of praying, they lay down the ground and spread themselves out and have a bit of sunbathe, you know? The place is just mad, it's just mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's creepy play. So it's going yeah, we've come to this Tibetan restaurant show house thing. We've got front row seats and all this Tibetan food and it, yeah, it's a bit weird, I don't know what's going on, but it, it's good. <laughs> Tonight we went to see some traditional uh, Tibetan music and a performance. It was pretty good. It was pretty good watching the uh, culture and things. You know how how different it is to what we've seen in Beijing and things like that, and in Mongolia. But a lot of it looks quite the same. And um, we also tried some Tibetan food, which I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't think was amazing. Um, it was all quite spicy, which was good, but. Uh, as far as uh, food quality goes, I, I wasn't impressed. But you've got to try these things if we come into their country. So, yeah. Good morning, campers. It's uh, ten past ten on the first of November. So, white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits. See what? Um, we're in the van on the way to a place called Shigatsi, which is on the way on our trip to Everest. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cold this morning. Pretty cold night's sleep, so we're expecting it to get even colder as we get higher up in the mountains, but should be a good laugh. We're hard men. We are hard men. It's alright. Yeah. Well, this is uh, Yamdrok Lake. It was uh, promised in the tour guide that it was be turquoise blue waters, which sort of is, but that we could see like weeds at the bottom because it's so clear and beautiful. But to be honest, there's just a load of rubbish everywhere. It looks a bit polluted and stuff. I'm a bit unimpressed, really. But nice scenery, and it's nice to get out of the car for a stretch of the legs. Stopped halfway and found like all these street sellers on some corner, like selling photos of yaks and stuff. So we thought to make good video footage, we'll have a photo taken with the yak. But yeah, I think we're about halfway there. To, well, I've forgotten the name of the place we're going today. Shigatsi. Shigatsi. We're going to Shigatsi. And I think we're about halfway there. It's getting pretty cold now, we've got a bit of altitude. And these are the roads we've got to go on. Well, this is us roughing it in our hotel in Shigatsi. In Shigatsi. We'll give you the grand tour. This is Joe's bed. This is our TV. This is my bed. And Lachlan's bed. It's a huge room. This is our fridge. That we have stocked full of beer. Plenty of beer in there. Well, it's uh, day four on the trip today. We're going to go see uh, a monastery again, another monastery. And we're also going to go um, to the next stop, which is called Tingri, which is pretty much the nearest stop before Everest that we're going to get to. So, yeah. It's supposed to be a really interesting drive today, so I'm pretty looking forward to it actually. Oh, we're at a 
our first stop today. This is the temple. Uh, I don't know what, what the temple's called. I've actually forgotten the name of the city as well, so shit out really. But um, yeah, this is the first stop. So we're gonna go check out the temple. trouble again. It was our second sort of worst breach of etiquette because uh, I tried to film like this huge Buddha thing and uh, yeah the guy didn't like it very much. So we got a little bit of footage of saw bit. Once again that everyone sells everywhere. 4,550 meters up on some pass in the middle of nowhere. Then approach about three lads trying to sell to good luck. I think we've got enough good luck charms. Yeah, we've got we've got our Whitby Lucky Ducks and our green stones and yeah. our um, lucky, three leaf clover. Lucky foreskin and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, quite a nice, quite a cool place though with all the flags and shit. It's, sorry, flags and stuff. I did that bit out. <laughs> we're about halfway to Tingree probably. Yeah, probably about halfway to Tingree I think. Hello. Well, hello. Um, we've made it to Tingri. Bum hole. After uh, what's probably been the most amazing day of driving so far, we've been through, uh, well, we started off on good roads, which then turned to bad roads. Bad roads that then turned to dirt tracks, and then dirt tracks, which basically turned to uh, just nothing, really. Um, and we've absolutely tested the van to the limits, we think, today, with you know some of the uphill struggles that we've had to do in it. But yeah, we finally made it here, and uh, we were faced once we entered the hotel with a problem. Uh, basically, the guy who uh, organised the tour hadn't mentioned to us that it was going to cost 400 yuan to um, hire the vehicle. So after uh, many you know, phone calls and disputing with everyone, we managed to get um, the price down. It's all sorted now, so we're gonna turn in um, now, watch, watch a film or something, then head out to Everest in the morning. So it's all good, bright and early. Yeah, <laughs> pigs might fly. Well, good morning, happy climbers. Today's the, the big day, the day we actually go to Everest, and um, we're about 100 kilometers away, so a bit of driving to do first, but uh, we should get there soon, this morning. Uh, Joe's not been very well this past couple of days, well, like yesterday. Uh, he was shitting and pissing everywhere. Um, and our toilet's leaked as well, in, in this awesome hostel that doesn't have hot water, so, yeah. I was gonna do the good thing, give him sweets. Whoa! <laughs> Fucking hell! All right, yeah. I think you got your fill. <laughs> yeah. I think they're hungry. Fucking <laughs> hell! Nearly had my hand off. Yeah. All right, so this is what we've spent the last hour driving through. We've come all the way down there. Around here, through all this lot, and then that's where we're driving to, into the Himalayas. I think we're actually already in the Himalayas, to be honest, but <sighs> getting well out of breath. The air's so thin. Well, we've just uh, come up to the top of this mountain. We've been climbing up and up and up along these dusty roads, and um, 
yeah, we reached the top and there's just the most amazing view of like the Himalayas basically. Um, you can see everything, everything. Yeah, there's lots of sleep. And that is the bottom of Everest. But the top of it is under all the clouds, so you can't see it. But that is the Himalayas. And that's where we're driving into next. Made it to Everest. We're here. This is like the there it is. final point. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the shot of Everest. <laughs> it's an invisible it's, mountain uh, we've discovered. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a bit a bit cloudy, but we're gonna walk right up to it anyway, just to say we've been on it. But yeah, we're pretty much on top of the world at the moment. Everyone else in the world is underneath us. Hi, did you? <laughs> So we've been walking for about how long, Joe? Ten minutes. We're absolutely knackered, but we have climbed this bit of mountain here, so. And there's not much oxygen. And we're feeling it hard. Well, another ten minutes walking later, and we come across this uh, like blue lagoon thing. It's pretty nice to look at, and it's in a real random location. Um, we're still feeling it, the, the altitude thing with the headaches and that, but we're going to push on as much as we can because we really want to get to Everest. Climbing. Sorry, well we've been climbing for uh, two and a half, maybe three hours now. Uh, it's, we're finding it really rough actually because it's just so hard to breathe. It's just the, the terrain we're on is almost impossible. Rocks are falling away under our feet. It's proving harder than we, we expected. After three hours of trekking, we finally found a fucking path. A path! A path! Oh. And it's hard, and it's cold, <coughs> and it's a path. Yeah, we're sat here not doing anything because sat here not doing anything because our fucking Australian guy with counterpart is like fucked off and we don't know where he is. We don't know if he's broken his fucking leg, smashed his head in. We've been shouting him and he hasn't been answering, so we don't know what the fuck to do. Um, if we head back and he's not at the car or he doesn't come to the car, then I don't know. When we send a rescue team out, I'm I'm a shit. <laughs> We're glad we've climbed a little bit of it. Obviously, we're not mountaineer experts. Fucking hell, your lips are blue. Yeah, it's because I'm dying, Joe. I'm zooming on the lips. Yeah, that's bad. She definitely head back. I'm not getting serious trouble. I thought he was dying. Yeah. Well, fuck knows where Lachlan's gone. I think he's fucking gone. Eh? Gone out. Oh, he's gone. To the wrist. I feel like I've been at practice for like six hours. You what? I feel like I've been at practice for like six hours. Playing my music. It's not a nice feeling at all, it's just it feels like your head real swollen from like the back of your neck real swollen. It's just Ugh, can't get rid of it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I think this bit's beating it actually. Everest's meant to be uh, clearer by morning and it's nine o'clock in the morning and there's still nothing. It's down there somewhere though. How are you feeling this morning, Joe? Not too bad, not too bad. 
like that, but not as bad as you two. And I think, yeah, rough night, cold, but you know, made it through. I'm glad to be this side of it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, as Joe said, uh, I'm definitely glad to be through this side of tonight. Uh, last night was just one of the coldest nights we've ever experienced. Um, I think we're all just a bit ready to get back to uh, Shigatsu, a nice thousand and a half metres below where we are now. So yeah, we're going to hit the road. It's a lot of driving to do today, so won't be much filming. It's more just the map. And yeah, we'll see you in Shigatsu. Well, we're about halfway to Shigatsi and uh, we've experienced another problem. Our axles snapped, we think. We don't know really, but basically there's a problem with it. So we're going to have to get it mended and sorted out before we can we can go on. But we're considerably lower and the air's meant to be better, although none of us are feeling much better yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We've made it to Shigatsu and after a day of driving we're all feeling a lot better than we were this morning. Anyway, um, we've got our appetite back, we've managed to eat loads of food. Shit. Yeah, we've managed to shit quite a lot. No, I mean eat lots of shit. Eat lots of shit, yeah. Oh well, yeah, my shit was white this morning. Oh yeah. I think it's due so to the altitude. Just so you all know. Looks. Yeah. I always do this, forget completely what I'm going to say. But yeah, we've got ourselves a new cameraman. Yeah. Rob Lachlan, who's doing the filming now. <laughs> it's fucking shit. <laughs> Cheers, Lachlan. Um, but yeah, we we'll drive back to Lhasa tomorrow, which is quite a relief, actually. But we don't know about the train timetable. We're having a bit of trouble with that, so we're going to have to make sure everything's OK. But yeah, Lhasa tomorrow. See you later. Morning, people. Uh, it's... Sunday, I believe. Um, I know this because in the elevators, sorry, lifts, they have big mats that change every day to tell you what day it is, so that's nice. But yeah, um, we're going back to Lhasa today, which will be good to get back somewhere where we can get home from because uh, it's a bit out in the sticks out here and we've been ill and that kind of stuff and it's just we want to get back really, get some decent internet call home, get some nice coffees, just chill out basically. So. We were going to go to a local market today, but I think they're pretty much the same all over Tibet, so I'm going to give it a miss and just head back to Lhasa and get that back there early, rather than hang around here for any longer than we have to. Better late than never. We're back in Lhasa, feeling in tip-top condition. We've uh, got train tickets to Xi'an. Um, we've had to set off early because I buggered up the itinerary. Um, instead of arriving at 8.30 in the morning, we arrive at 8.30 at night. So that means we're going to have to change the itinerary, spend a day less in Lhasa, uh, spend a night in Xi'an, and have a day extra in Beijing. So everything's changed, but it's, it's all alright. We've got our tickets for tomorrow morning. We uh, have to get up in about six hours. Yeah, it's going to be nice just to chill out on the train for two days and just sleep for two days. It's uh, currently 20 to 7 in the morning, just gone half six. Um, we were all up early because we need to catch our train to uh, Xi'an today. Uh, the train itself takes uh, how many hours, Joe? 36. 36 hours. Um, so we'll be on the train for a while, but yeah be nice to get back down to lower altitude and get on a train with constant flow of oxygen. So yeah, we're heading out this morning. We're on our train to Xi'an. Well, we've been on the train all day today. Um, it seemed like a real long day because we've been on so early.
Uh, but me and Joe were just talking, we found out that it's uh, actually two weeks till we come home today. So it's quite a nice feeling in a way that we're getting to come home soon. So in two weeks precisely, we should be landing in the plane about now. So yeah, something to look forward to. Have you anything to say, Joe? It's a sad, sad day, Tom. You know why? Why? I'm officially off beer. Joe's officially off beer. Just reminds me of being sick in the tent. I just cannot drink it. I really, really want to as well. It's a sad, sad day. Bottom the toast. <laughs> On the good side, it's about four hours till we get to Shia. <laughs> And if she has this McDonald's, yes, no more yaktum for us. Yaktum burger, yaktum milkshake.